watch along of the Avs and Jets game one of the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs. I have my daughter here, Jamie, joining me to watch the game and uh, uh, talk about it. So uh, the puck just dropped a minute ago, um, and the Avs are currently all over the Jets. Aggressive. Um, Very. Yeah, I don't think the Jets have had it in. Well, they just got it into the offensive zone just now. And Georgiev, luckily, makes a save on the first shot of the game because I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a goal. We all were. <laughs> but the Avs are uh, looking good early in the first two minutes of the game. Um, so that's good to see. Um, and as we just mentioned, we we do have Georgiev going as the goalie tonight. Um, Ananen is sick, so he's not even in the building. And that kind of uh, solves the the goalie problem for at least game one on who uh, Bednar was going to play. Uh, other players that are out are Drew In, who's out for the whole series, and Sam Girard is day to day in the concussion protocol. Um, there was some thought that he could have played today, uh, but obviously not happening. So, what's up, Christian Delorm? We are just watching the Avs game. Of course, I can't display it, but it is on ESPN2, I think. At least in the U.S. Yeah, ESPN2. Alright, so now Winnipeg is uh, keeping it in our zone for a little bit of time. It's been about a minute in our zone. It's scary. Every moment is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to playoff hockey, Jamie. <laughs> Avs now have the puck. Uh, oh. Wow, big, big hit. Was that Miles Wood that just got crushed? Um, I didn't see. Yeah, it was it was Wood. I didn't see who got him, though. But he can't he's lose back any up, teeth. doing just fine. Nachushkin's got the puck at the moment. Passes it off to Manson. Manson shoots. And that was deflected by Hellebuck. Well, yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by, Christian. And for the like. Hey, Davina. Yeah, oh. this game's chippy already. There's, There's already been a few pretty good hits delivered. It looks like all of them have been to Miles Wood. That poor guy. That's really sad. So the Avs are currently leading in shots 9-1. to one. That's how overwhelming they are at the moment. Thank you for that, Davina. We might need it. Well, the way this game's starting, it doesn't look like we're going to have too much trouble. Hey, but we've switched up. It's a long up. series. We've switched up before. We start playing really good, and then suddenly um, we're down 4 this is the playoffs. We're not going to let up on the gas on any game at this point. Hey, you never know. You never know. And Bednar would have all the hits. Oh, there's Brad. Wife just got home from the store. Don't think she knew that we were going to be streaming, so she just opened the garage door, so sorry about the noise. All right, McKinnon's in with a shot. Goes wide. The big line's out there now with McKinnon, Lekkinen, and Rantanen, it looks like. So they did put the, the big line back together with Drew in out. That scared me really bad. Yeah, well, you guys never believe how loud everything is. On well, these I can mics. hear it. it's like an echo now. Right. Sure. All right, garage is closed. <laughs> Hopefully no more uh, very loud interruptions. No um, 
so far the Jets have had the puck in their offensive zone for a total of 30 seconds out of the first five minutes of the game. The Avs have had full control in their zone a minute and 40 seconds out of that, I think is what it said. Um, so yeah, this is a better start than I thought we were going to get. Yeah, actually, yeah. I can't agree with that. And Winnipeg's one of the better defending teams in the league, so to be peppering them with shots early, you're going to have to do that to get past Hellebuck because he is, uh, well, I think he will end up being the uh, number one goalie in the league this year. Really? I think he'll get the uh, the trophy for that. I haven't watched him play pretty much anything other than this and before, the game before. He is the best goalie in the league this year. He didn't have the most wins, Georgiev did, but wins are not a uh, a goalie stat. No, not at all. That's very clear looking at Georgiev. Of course, that's what got Georgiev to the All-Star game, which still didn't agree with that one necessarily. But, no, uh, that was kind of yeah. dumb. So the Avs are back in the zone, set up, cycling the puck. There's another shot on net. It is the... Uh, Looks like it's a big line out there right now. Yeah, Nachushkin's got it now. Nachushkin shoots oh! and a goal. First goal of the playoffs goes to Val Nachushkin. We got it. Thank goodness. And that is a 1-0 lead for the Avalanche. That is exactly what we wanted to see coming out. Yeah. And here come all of the uh, texts from everybody who knows I'm watching the game. <laughs> that was a nice goal. It looked really nice. Yep. And if we can get into Hellebuck's head early in this series, that may be what turns it for us. So, good to see that. And we're ready for the faceoff. So the Avs control that faceoff. Dump it into the zone. There's going to be no icing. And just like that, we've got control of the zone again with the big line with McKinnon out there. Ooh. And almost another goal right there for Kale McCarr. It was really close. Sort of. <laughs> Winnipeg still can't get it out of the zone. So. No. All right. So the whistle there looks like it would be uh, offsides. And I think we're going to a uh, commercial break. So it's a really good start. Yeah, which is very good. Exactly what uh, everybody's te <laughs> uh, texting me. What a start! Boom! That was huge. So I can't think of a better way for this to have gone other than us being up by three or four. We need to be up by three or four very fast. If we keep playing like this, it'll be fine. And hopefully Winnipeg doesn't wake up anytime soon. <laughs> they look a little bit like a uh, little bit stunned that this is happening. I mean, I would be too. I can't deny that. Most of the uh, other games have started off kind of in a situation where it's like both teams are feeling each other out, and the first goal didn't come very early in most of the games. But yeah, this was a quick, quick goal. It is. And there's your favorite actress. I love her. Jennifer Coolidge is my woman. She's gonna, wonderful. You gonna do your impression? Makes you want a hot dog real bad. Such Smells like the dog. 4th of July in here. No. <laughs> it, it works. It's great. I have a great impression. Yeah. Well, it's one of the best. Maybe you get that from me because I do my Sean Connery and my Christopher Walken no, all the time. No, no. Mine's better than yours. No. Don't lie. Davina says she watched a little of The White Lotus. What is The White Lotus? Great question. Is that a Jennifer Coolidge movie? I don't know. Perhaps. The wife is shaking her head yes. 
<laughs> I don't watch stuff like that, unfortunately. How do you know what it is? Um, well, knowing it's a Jennifer Coolidge movie, I can kind of get a grasp of what it is. Because she really only does one thing. Oh, she's done a lot. You're just young. I mean... Jennifer Coolidge plays one of the guests at the White Lotus Hotel Resort. It's kind of an extreme drama show. But a comedy. Okay. Maybe it smacks. Because... Well, I mean, she's done quite a few comedies over the over the years. But. Yeah. I do know that much. That's why I like her. I just think she talks silly, and that's always interesting to me. Well, we'll see that commercial probably 20 more times during this game. That's great. I can't hate it. Well, it's ever. better than having to watch the ESPN Plus commercial. Oh, yeah. Every single commercial break like we do during every home... Or every single abs game that we watch it's terrible it's horrible it makes me like nauseous when i hear it sometimes hey winnipeg oh. scored on their third shot oh. of the game no okay now i really am like scared and forgiev is showing up yep <laughs> he's he's coming quick and he's not gonna leave <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Okay. Third shot of the game. Georgiev lets it go in. So it's now a 1-1 game with 12 minutes left in the first. We have some time to bring it back. Well, we have the whole game. Yeah, but like in the first period. It's good to get it back immediately rather than letting it simmer for a while. Let's see if this was a screen. It actually looked like it went off of his head. It looked bad. I'll tell you that. Well, he was screened to his right, but the shot went over his uh, his left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Let it right past the catcher side. I think I could have caught that. I doubt it. Hey, I played softball. Was it good softball? Did that's a <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Did a ball ever even get hit for you to catch? Hey, you should have no. seen me during practice, dude. <laughs> That's why he told me he wanted me to keep playing. Mm. Yeah. He said, you're one of our star players. And I said, I don't want to play this game. <laughs> so Josh Morrissey gets a goal. And, uh, yeah, I had him on my fantasy team all year. Sucks. No, he doesn't. That's kind of the, <laughs> the point. <laughs> I had him on the fantasy team because he well, did stuff like that. No, no, no. <laughs> no. He's playing us. And yeah. that, that makes him suck because yeah. the rest of the team, we don't like them. No cap? I need you to, like, be quiet. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> That's I'm not, not allowed, allowed to use you guys' lingo? No, because I haven't said that in, like, years. I think I said that in sixth grade. So? It's been a while, and, and that's out, completely out of date. Uh, I'm going to use it anyway. What are words you used to say? I don't know. Like when you were a teenager, what was cool? That's totally tubular, dude. No, nope, that's that's uh, nothing I ever said. No. Well, maybe you didn't say it, but your people did. No. Your generation, right? Or was that a millennial thing? No, that was uh, more think a made-up cool. thing as a uh -uh. fake way of talking from California. Was it like the Surfer mean girls? Surfer language. Yeah, was it like the mean girls trying to put that so fetch into the world? Oh. That was also later than me. Yes, I'm aware. But it's like the same situation. So, it counts. Well, let's see. What, what did we have? <sighs> I'm going to start saying it every day. What? Whatever you pull up. And you're going to go, wow, that's like, that's kind of gross. Well, yeah. So we used, instead of bet, like you guys use, we used word or word up. Oh, that's gross. Um, 
Let's see. Instead of it really is a stone tablets because he's like seventy three. Let's ghost. We said let's dip out. Let's. Nobody says let's ghost. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's on the list of that is fake. That's on my list of <laughs> Generation Z slang. That is disgusting. Yeah. Isn't it? That is it's, fake. It's literally just here to really embarrass you, especially when you have your friends over. Ugh. Ew. That's so gross. Um, I love that for you would be translated to right on. See, no, but that like is kind of surfer slang. Right on? Yeah. Right on, dude. Right on. No. Yeah. 100%. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> I'm um, the one that made these words, all right? Just so we're clear. Yeah, your nar would be... Nar. No. As if. That was more like We say as clueless. if. We say as if. Um, what else we got? Valid would be true that. We used to say true that. Yes, because you guys like to steal our stuff too. Invented vocal fries vocal crazy. Vocal fry. L.A. Ugh. I'm from L.A. Yeah. Can you not... Uh, what else do we have? So, we used we said lame a lot. Yeah. Um. I don't know stuff like that. But like most of those words, we we also adapted. So it's like we do so say the stole, things you used to. Yeah. You stole from us, yes. and then you created new versions, and, and then, then say that versions. we're not allowed to steal those versions. Yeah, because. You're old people. Mm -hmm. Hate to say it, but you are. I'm not old. How old are you? 40? 42. 42. See, I thought you were younger, so that's like kind of a compliment. <laughs> I said 40. It's pretty close. Davina says, most of the words are really old, repurposed for different uses again and again. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So that's just what we're doing. You guys did it. We're doing it. Oh, my cousin's favorite was gag me with a spoon. Gag me? Why? It was the same as, like, ick for you guys. Ick. No, but, like, ick is, like, it really depends. Because sometimes ick is, like, it's either in a romantic way or it's just, like, ick, that's disgusting. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's Do what gag me with a spoon would have been like. So, like, if, okay. In this situation, right, you see, like, this person, and you really like them, and then they, like, get in a pool really weird, would you say, oh my gosh, gag me with a spoon, that was, like, the most, that's the worst way someone could get in a pool. Would you do that? Like. That would be a pretty close use of it, except we weren't uh, stupid enough to get completely turned off by people for how they got into a pool. <laughs> that's And like, there's another gross. Winnipeg Jets goal. <laughs> oh my god. I'm tired of talking about language. Watch game. <laughs> <laughs> so the Jets are up two to one now. <laughs> Ever since the goal, oh, the gosh. abs have uh, really not done much of anything. That hey, what did I tell you? I told you this would happen, and you said it's a playoffs. It's not going to happen. Look what happened. I didn't say it wouldn't happen as if, as in, we wouldn't get scored on. I said we're not going to let our foot off the gas if we But can. we totally just let our foot off the gas. That, that was really Winnipeg cool. Winnipeg woke up. Using the word crap is very old, predating Thomas Crapper's invention of the toilet. The John? Don't call it that. That feels awkward. The John? Like, that's a person's name. That's what it was known for, or known as for a long time. Can you imagine, like, what if you had a friend, John, and you're like, I'm going to go use the John real quick. That's weird. That feels really awkward. It was even a joke in uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. When did At I watch the... that? I was like six. I don't think you've ever watched that one. No, we did. We watched Not it. with me, you didn't. Yeah, we did. No. You showed me and Jill. Maybe Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. Maybe it was Not that Robin one. Hood Men in Tights. I could have sworn we watched that one. But at the end, uh, Patrick Stewart playing Richard the Lionheart says, From now on, all the toilets shall be named John, after Prince John, who is trying to take the kingdom. That is horrible. 
I would never want to be named John. I know a John. Yeah, you have an uncle, John. I know a kid named John. That's my age. You wouldn't think that there'd be a it's kid named John. It's one of the most John common my names age. on the planet. But like so. at this point, you've got like the the people naming their kids like weird stuff, like charisma. Yeah. I actually Speaking saw of that. Riz. No, no, no. All right, the Avs have the puck <laughs> moving up the ice. Look like they're finally going to try to attack again. McKinnon's taken. Oh my taken gosh. over the puck. And nothing comes of that. Winnipeg's got the puck trying to break out again. That looks like. Nope, no icing. They were there pretty quick on it. And the Avs have controlled the puck again. We are at six minutes remaining in this period. It's not looking too hot. I wish they would uh, display the shots on goal all the time, like and every I, other channel does. Because they only show it, like, randomly when they get bored. Or when they're talking about it. I guess the announcers are, know what they're doing. Davina's going to make fun of your vocal fry if you keep doing that. That's how I talk. I'm no, trying to be quiet. Nobody actually talks. I'm trying way. to be quiet. Mm -hmm. And I had a whole sleepover last night. Why are you trying to be quiet? Because I don't want to be loud. Because I, I always get yelled at for being loud. Okay. It's completely valid. I don't know what you're talking about. My, I have a bald spot again. So shots on goal are 12-6 for Colorado at the moment. I have a bald spot, too. No, you have, like, a really nice, full head of hair. I don't like you much. <laughs> it's not my fault. All right, game's going to commercial break. What are we going to do during the uh, intermissions? You're the one that asked me to come out here. I expected you to have it figured out at some point. I don't know. It's usually just me and Smokey. Oh. Well, <laughs> you know, you're not allowed. No, Smokey is a guy in chat that is also an Avs fan. Um, when, we, I, when I have hey, done watch-alongs, he's been in here doesn't watching. Matter. You know what I say? I say not allowed. It's illegal. No. Banned from the chat. Per chance. No. It is how it is. Why do you have your camera... Cause I was on your phone, <laughs> looking at yourself, when we also have the camera that thinking, you're looking this at one's inverted. on the gigantic screen. This one's inverted, and this one isn't, so I can like look at my hair and fix it correctly. Because I have a bald spot right here, and it's pretty bad. It's not a bald spot if it's, it's just where the bangs aren't covering. And you know, my bangs are normally there. And suddenly the hair isn't there. What it, what else is a bald spot? But a place where, where hair isn't hair covering. Where hair doesn't grow is a bald spot. This is a bald spot. No. To me, in my heart, in my heart, this is a bald spot. <laughs> Words have meaning. No, they don't. Yeah. No. That's why we have You guys can't speech. just keep changing words whenever you guys I want. No. I, it works all the time. Well, we're back from commercial break. They're doing a uh, interview with Rick Bonus, the coach of the Jets. <laughs> All right. So now the offensive zone time is even between the two teams. And Winnipeg got this. And a delayed offsides there, so we could not attack even though we had stolen the puck. Oh, and we're directly in front. There There's a go. goal from Miles Wood. We got it back. He has Boom. no teeth. He's all over the place tonight, though. I appreciate it. It's good. He's already been into the boards about 20 times, and <laughs> now he's got a goal. He's bringing it back for us. That's what matters. He's well, a good dude. That's got us at 2-2. Two to two. If you took the over in this game, you're uh, probably feeling pretty good about that. Four goals through not even the first period. Right. 
I didn't check to see what the over under was. Let's see. I know I got it on Instagram. The over under sure was it. five and a half points. So two more goals in this game total, and the over is hit. If you've got the under right now, you're really worried. <laughs> Especially with four give. Oh Don't know what hell of a will still give up, but oh, there's oh! a goal from the Avs. Oh my Nathan gosh. McKinnon, right after the faceoff. That's really nice. We're bringing it back. Bringing it back. That's always good. So that's five goals now, with five minutes still remaining in the first period. That was a nice goal. Yeah, that's McKinnon doing McKinnon things. He just shot a laser directly through the armpit of uh, Hellebuck. Of course he did. Didn't He's even got go far that side. Dog in Went it. close side, directly <laughs> through the uh, through the arm. That would have hurt. The armhole. Like that would have hurt if it hit. Yeah. Well, he's got pads. Plenty of pads. Yeah, I know. But I want to like, put goalie uh, pads on at least once in my life. Just like Winnipeg did to us, scoring twice pretty quick to take a lead, we have come back and uh, just hammered two goals in in the last minute. Feels good. 3-2 lead for the Avs. I think this is one of the highest scoring games of the playoffs that I've watched, at least in the first period. Oh, yeah, this is yes. far, so far out of the games played in the playoffs. And oddly enough, nope, oh, no, that's, oh, no, ball. it is showing. Uh-oh. I'm trying to figure out how my phone was showing a Winnipeg goal before it happened on live TV. It just, like, felt it, and it's did, that's what I was trying to show you. Did you see it? No, I didn't. It was already showing 3-3 three, three at 4.07. That's on, so on weird. On my app. That's for, so odd. Because I was trying to check the shots. I wonder if there's like a delay. Well, all TV has a delay, but usually it's like 10 seconds. Right. Not long enough for an app to update the score. Oh. I'm well, hitting things. What happened? I like pulled this up and it moved the mouse and it made a noise. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> right off the pad. And that's the over. Already six goals. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. And the first period is wild. It's definitely hard playing. And that was less than a minute from the last goal that was scored. Yeah. The so, same so thing much happened with Rangers. A, so much for it being a defensive battle in, yeah. this, in this first game of the series, at least. Actually, I like the way this is working out. If we're scoring this much against one of the better defenses in the league and we're the number one scoring team in the league, a race, you know, a sprint favors us. So Yeah. It's still a little scary because you never know what Georgiev is going to decide to let Ooh, in. That guy, I think he got... Uh, checked into the corner of the boards where the where the wall yeah. actually meets there. That's disgusting. Alright, we got McKinnon back out there now. Rantanen and Lekkonen. Oh, There's another shot and that may be a goal. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. That was so Couldn't close. Couldn't find the puck. I was hoping that he laid down on it and pushed it in. Man. That would have been a really cool one to see. That made like a really nice noise. Yeah, you like that? Whoa. It's a heavy glass. It like it was really like wah, like a bell. And for or a the, gong. For the record, today it's <laughs> black tea, not bourbon. That tea is really good. Well, I got you a water. Yeah. I don't want tea. I I can't drink anything like that right now. Okay. <laughs> well, like, <laughs> it's just a good tea. I can confirm. Yeah, that was <sighs> close to going in. I, 
this angle is horrible though. Yeah. All right, two minutes left in the uh, first period. Jets win this face off, and they are pushing up. And Devin Taves is going to take that puck and start a counter. Except that he passed it to the other team. <laughs> so now the, yeah, the, the Jets are set up in our zone. And we've taken the puck back and are... In the oh, neutral zone. They just knocked the ref over the side. Completely. Yeah, that was... They're part of the playing field. <laughs> it was really awkward. Did you see that hit last night where the guy got put completely into the bench in the Boston game? No, I didn't. I wasn't, like, watching it, watching it, because I was with Addy, but... Yeah, that one was kind of fun. Those are always fun to see. I really like watching people just get tossed over the side. Yeah, he went over backwards. Because they just flail, and it's very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a grown man, like, squirm like that until watching hockey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Am I wrong? I'm not. <clears throat> Bless you. That was a cough. Mm-hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Oh, oh. We still haven't had a penalty in this game either, have we? No. So six goals with none of them being power play. That's crazy. Do you think we might hit an eight-goal game like I've been waiting for all season? You mean the abs individually scoring eight? Yes. Hmm possible it'd be really cool i think they're going to come out in the second period and both teams will look completely different because both coaches are going to just scream and yell at them of course they tell will. them to slow it down and uh keep it under control instead of this back and forth but this is like way more interesting i would rather watch this than watch them just like yeah well everybody would rather watch this but <laughs> the coach doesn't want to see a number of shots on their goalie, and a number of goals taking place in the first period. Right, yeah, I mean, yeah. Their hey. job's to win, not make it watchable. But, like, it's way more fun to make it watchable. And also, maybe Georgiev will learn to catch if we shoot more things at him. That's how that works. That's what practice is for. Clearly, he's practice. not getting very much practice. <laughs> I'm still of the opinion that maybe he got too much game or too many games this year because we didn't have a backup for most of the year. Right. Well, ten seconds left in this period, which means my phone probably already says that the period's over. <laughs> Your phone's a special little duck. You I'm know? gonna have to uh, not check it, or at least oh, not check goodness. the app. And there's a bit of a scrum at the end of the first period. Casey Middlestad is right oh. in the middle of that. Of course he is. It's in his name. Hey, Mike. Yeah, it's been insane so far. I was not expecting a three-three first period. Even Bedner's just shrugging his shoulders like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got 18 minutes of intermission. Woo! Where we can't hear the uh, the announcers for intermission because... <laughs> it's okay. They don't really say anything interesting. I bet we could get closed captioning on and see if they say anything interesting while we're talking, though. My foot is like pins and needles right now. Why? Because I was sitting on it. <laughs> I see. I'm super smart. You know if you say it into the remote, you can just say closed captions and it'll turn it on, right? Uh-huh. Okay. But instead, I use the options to do it without me saying it into the remote on screen. <laughs> 
Wow, you're so special. Yeah. So special, yeah. And now we can see the captions on the commercials. That's really funny. You can see the captions. <laughs> They're just a little bit under the screen for me. <laughs> Can't help that the big screen is on the other side of all of the uh, computer monitors. You totally could help that. No, you just got to be taller. You could, um... I've been 5'5 five five for like four years. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting any taller. It's it's wishful thinking. I would like to get taller. Will I? No. But according to this right here, you're getting balder. Don't be mean to my bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. No. Okay. Absolutely not. No it's a good song. No. It's a good song. So, your Rangers won earlier. I was so happy about it. And Rempe scored. He scored the first goal of the game. Very first. His first playoff game in the NHL. His fir The first goal of their series goes to him. That's really cool. And he was a plus two today, I think. Uh-huh. So, what did you think of that game overall? It was a really good game. Um... Everyone was playing very hard. It was really nice to see because there was a lot of energy and everybody was in it. Nobody got super. Actually, that's a lie. I was going to say nobody got super injured, but that one guy looked like his shoulder might have gotten dislocated. Yeah, I think it was a dislocated shoulder. Yeah, it looked pretty, like it was hanging. That was kind of disgusting, but he's the only casualty for a good win. 4-1. Very interesting. A good watch. So the Rangers are uh, up one in that series. Uh, yesterday we had Florida beating Tampa Bay. Did you watch it? I did. What did you think on it? Um, I thought that one was also pretty interesting. I don't really care for either team, so I wasn't paying huge attention because they're just kind of some guys to me. But they played hard. That one had an interesting ending because... Uh, it, uh, yeah, her favorite player is Rempe. <laughs> what? That's what got her into hockey, so. <laughs> Disgusting. But yes, he is just a goon, so. Yeah. And I love him for it, and I love him for it. You know, he's just a guy. He's just a boy. A six foot nine goon. He's a si he's just a boy, okay? He's doing his best. No. He found his thing, and he's running with it, and that's what you have to do <laughs> in a league like this. In a league like this. In a league like this. That's what you gotta do. I've become do. an expert in the uh, <laughs> two months that I've watched hockey. Okay, listen. To be fair, she does watch every single game. Every, every single, single game. Day. I watch every... I see everything. Do I pay complete attention? Sometimes. Yeah, he's gotta keep the elbows either down or... You know, up at his yeah. head level, so it's going above everybody else's head. I can't agree with that. He does throw some dirty hits, and, you know, you can't be too proud about it. But, listen, if his, it if it brings good fights... His first shift today, he got out there and immediately <laughs> hit somebody not, and took a penalty. <laughs> that was... I think that was a totally crap call. I think that was stupid. He got, he got there late. Charging was... He got there late. <sighs> I don't know. It is what it is. I think the refs were being silly that game. There were like eight penalties in the first period. Um. Yeah, I think there was. It, it was either six or eight penalties. Yeah. It was a lot of penalties. We had four on four in the first period, which was pretty well, that's fun. Just matching penalties. Well, yeah, but like still, like you expect that later on in the game. At least in my mind. It's like, yeah. Mike says he was happy <laughs> with Domi annoying Marshawn a little bit. Gave him a dirty slash on the wrist. Yeah, they. that was right at the, uh, the initial puck drop that they were already going at it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, not a fan of Marshawn. So he is... It's fine with me when the rat gets uh, somebody <laughs> bugging him. It's so interesting. I feel like there's at least four players that have that type of face, like the rat face, like very pointy. Well, he's probably the most famous of them and the most yeah. annoying of them. 
You know, he got in trouble a few years ago because he would just skate up to guys and lick their face. Lick? Yeah. He would lick people? Yeah. Like, they would get into arguments and he would get real close and then just lick their face. Oh my gosh, that's really gross. The league put an end to that one pretty quick. That is really gross. Was it like... like, You can be annoying all you want, but no more licking anybody. Do they know why he did... Was it just like... Hey, here's my intimidation tactic. I'm just going to lick your face. I guess. I mean, Ew. he's just a weird dude. Ew. Oh my gosh, that's so gross. Oh, ew. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine getting into a fight with someone and they walk up to me and they lick my face. Oh, these weren't fights. These, this was just the arguments. Well, yeah, like an argument fight. It's the same thing. Little scrums. It's the same thing. I think we have a uh, Marchand um, commercial loaded up in here. He's really ugly. And I like, I like kind of ugly guys because I think they're very interesting. They have big personality to make up for it, but he just doesn't. He's just weird. Yeah, Davina, they had to tell him you're not allowed to lick people. Ew. That's really gross. Mm-hmm. That's I like I don't even I don't want to think about that. Ugh. That is so ick. Oh my goodness. Well, it doesn't look like we've got uh, the Marchand commercial, but we could do a uh, pasta commercial real quick. I like pasta. This one's before your time, so you may not have ever seen it. So we'll play it real quick and see Probably what you think. Not. <laughs> and of course, we're getting those. Large cold brew. Better make it a medium. I only have two minutes. Don't move on. Oh, because. Hey, Rem, check your wife mail. We missed some calls. Other... Wow, she knows your order. Yeah, I'm pretty much a regular yeah. here. Brother. Whatever. I guess we're not doing commercials today because I you set lose. it up with the two podcasting uh, um, microphones instead of using the usual one. Haha. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Mm. What a shame. We've already had plenty of trouble with having to restart the stream after YouTube decided yeah. not to go active. So YouTube's just silly like that. It is how it is. So then in the other game that we had... Um, who did we not talk about yet? Yesterday's stuff. So, Boston beat the living crap out of Toronto, which is going to make Micah a very sad guy. But uh, I'm disappointed. I really want Toronto to win this series. I want them to move on. Oh, I hate Boston, but it's also Toronto. Right, Mike? I like, I like, um, Matthews. Yeah, Matthews is good. He's a pretty good player. He's very good. 69 goals. Nice. Most people just don't like Toronto because of the fan base. Yeah, Marner no showed. Absolutely. And I like Marner. The lack of a goalie uh, playing well is... It's going to be the downfall for a number of teams. Mm -hmm. Possibly including the Avs. In fact, I think the only series that has two actual goalies playing right now is Tampa Bay and Florida, where both teams have a goalie that's worth a crap. Yeah, definitely. Because you got... Um, yeah. Yeah, he needs to step yeah. up. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah, you got Bobrovsky, you know, for uh, for Florida, and Vasilevsky for Tampa Bay. Both of them are former Vesna Trophy winners, and... Uh, they're solid. Looking pretty good this year. They hold it down. I think the Bruins have two really good goalies, Swayman and Olmark. Yeah, they're a good tandem. But yeah. What I'm saying is that series is the only one where right. both teams have a goalie that's no, worth yeah. the crap. Every other series, at least one of the goalies is a suspect. Like, the Jets have Hellebuck, not suspect. Georgiev, highly suspect. I need you to stop. Don't say and maybe, suspect. <laughs> And maybe Onanen will uh, get in the game and maybe... I really play. hope. I really hope. Well, we'll see We'll see what happens with Georgiev. 
And Suspect's been around a lot longer I, than anything that you guys have come up with. But it's like, that doesn't even really work in that kind of sentence. That's exactly where it works. No, because Suspect is like suspicious. Yes. Yeah, and that, you should be very suspicious. suspicious of Georgiev's play because he's a professional goalie that lets in a lot of goals. That's a pretty suspicious thing for him to be a professional just, goalie <laughs> that lets in four goals a game. It's I exactly just, what the term suspect is used for in that. I don't like it. That slang. I really don't like it because, like, at this point, saying you know, sus is our suspect. It's just short for suspect. Yes, I know what it is. Yeah. Well, you know. I played amongst us too. It's not amongst. It's among. Among. Amogos. Among us. Amogos. That's how you say it. Mm-hmm. Amogos. You're right, and he doesn't do it. <laughs> he doesn't do it. Sometimes they'll be like, "Whoa, Georgiev with the good save," and then two seconds later, they pop down at the face up goal. Goal on Georgiev. Every time, they always say something good about him. And then he you look at it, and he just drops. He just drops. Like, I swear, sometimes he'll be standing in the net. The puck will get shot, and he'll just watch it. He won't go for it, try to stop it. He just kind of stares, and he's like, all right, I'm done. I don't want to play this game anymore. That's such a good goal. Is it? It was. That was, like, all of these goals... For the Rangers happened in like two minutes, six seconds apart. Yeah, every goal in the game was in a four minute span of exactly. the second period in that game. That's like, that's so cool. So, who do you have tonight in the Canucks Predators? The Nucks. You think so? I have faith in the Nucks 100%. I still think they're overperforming and the Preds have been hot towards the end of the season, so. Um, we'll see. My logic that's, that's is that... That's kind of my upset pick is the Predators over the Ducks. Right. My my logic is that we beat the Preds, and I like the Nucks, so they're going to win it. That's it. Okay. okay. It's just, it's a gut feeling. It's a gut... Could I tell you two players on the Preds? No. <laughs> I couldn't. Yossi. Roman Yossi. Soros, their goalie. Yeah, you can name <laughs> players on the Preds. I can't. The Nucks. Um, O'Reilly's still with them, isn't he? Or did he move on? I don't. I don't watch them. I don't know. <laughs> They're the one team I don't watch, the like Predators. purposefully, unless a team I like is playing them. Well, if you watch every other team, then. But well, everybody okay. playing well, no, no, no. every no, game no, they're no, playing no. is Listen, against somebody else. It's like okay, if the Avs are playing this team, and then I don't know, the Sabers are playing this team, but the Preds are playing like another team I like. I'm gonna prioritize the Sabers and Avs, and I'm gonna watch those two. <laughs> and the other team, I'll just watch on like the ESPN app, the Game Cast. What are you talking about, the Sabers? Where did the Sabers come into this? Ever since. Ever since Bo Byram got traded, <laughs> I miss him. It's unfortunate, but yeah, I watch the Sabres now, and I really like Tage Thompson. Yeah. He's pretty good. Apparently, he's been doing bad this season, but I haven't seen him any other season, so I'm going to say he's pretty great. Okay. Yep. That's exactly how it works. Your logic, sir. You're listening to a teenage girl talk right now. I don't know what you expect. Yeah, it was a mistake. Yeah. It was. <laughs> and see how sensitive the mic is? You yeah. Can, you can hear mom yelling at That's the dogs crazy. from out here through the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Can't you fix that? Isn't there a way to do that? The sensitivity on the mic? Yeah, you can turn down the gain a little bit. Yep. But then... Sometimes it doesn't pick up everything that you say. Like, it'll just cut That's off the beginning sit. or the end of it. That's why you got to sit real close like you're this. You're way too close. Exactly. No, you got to sit real close. Actually, it's, you're only supposed to be about six inches away. That's why we have the gain up so yeah. that you don't have to you sit get, You get right soup, there. but, like, you can do ASMR while you play your game. No. Yeah. Like... We don't ASMR. No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Karma. 
by Jojo Siwa. Have you heard about that? I know of her. I know she looks <laughs> completely retarded lately. With the black makeup? Yeah. Yeah, she looks like she's trying to be a member of KISS. You know? Mm. Sort of. Like, it's got the vibe. Okay. It's got the vibe. 100%. I'm not a KISS fan. Neither am I. Wasn't Mom? No. No. She was Guns N' Roses. I swear someone in this house liked KISS. I like a couple songs of theirs. No, like, there was, like, a hardcore KISS fan in this house. Nobody that I know of is a hardcore KISS fan. Seriously? Are you gaslighting me? No. I don't know who would like Kiss. You like to gaslight me. I like God Gave Rock and Roll to You and a couple other songs, but I think they're an extremely overrated band. I think, um, I don't actually have an opinion on them. Because I've never listened to any of their music, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't have a Kiss whiskey bottle. Go find it. I don't. Go, I, I mean, like, saying. go find one. I don't know. Buy it. I've never even seen a Kiss whiskey bottle. Look it up. I'll pull it up. It's probably a Gene Simmons thing. Kiss. Yeah, whiskey Detroit Rock City is bottle. one of their okay songs. They're pretty cool looking. They're pretty cool. I like that. Yep. Never seen them here in town anywhere. Hmm. You should get one. It's hard when you can't, you've never seen them anywhere in town well, to just be able to go get one. They're online right here. Oh, it's asking me if I'm 21. So I'm not going to go on that website. Because <laughs> I'm smart. All right. We are back from intermission, getting ready to start the second period. I have to sit back on my foot so that I can see any of it at all. <laughs> I can try moving the monitor down slightly more that helps a l- yeah yeah that's good that works that works yep well they said puck drop in 20 seconds and it's already been longer than that boo are you sure mm-hmm. 20 seconds is actually a pretty long time i I've think learned. a little countdown down there oh bruh um it's right, right now sure of it Actually, the countdown was probably right. It's just they've got so much delay. So, so much right, delay. Puck is dropped in the second. So, starting the second period, 3-3 three, three tie. And the Avs have started off nicely again with a couple shots right off the bat. So, we do have delay. Yeah, wow. it could be the uh, it could be because we're on direct TV, so satellite may add a little bit more delay. I forgot we had a satellite. Yeah, because the only time we ever... The only time I ever actually watch cable is when we if actually I, have like, games on national. If I, like, use the Xfinity thing, like, on this TV to watch, like, Yellow Jackets, does that count, count as using the satellite? It's not, like, live, you know? It's, like, watching an episode. That's streaming on demand. Okay, so it's not, then... Well, I mean, you have to have the Xfinity service to well, right, but use like, on demand by Xfinity. Yeah. Yeah, well, in Colorado, we cannot watch the ABS on Xfinity. Why and is actually, that? actually, yeah, Xfinity is not satellite. DirecTV is. Yeah. So, yeah, there shouldn't be that much delay. Why, why do we, why is it like contract dispute between Cronky Sports and uh, Xfinity. I'm sorry, did you say Cronky? Yeah, Stan Cronky is who owns the Avs and the Nuggets and owns Altitude Network. So, like, what's the point of having a team if we can't even watch it? You know what I mean? Well, you can still watch them on DirecTV. You can watch them on other stuff, just not on Xfinity. And we can't use ESPN Plus because all the games are uh, locally blacked out because of altitude. So that's why we sail the high seas for the games. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like balding everywhere now. These bangs don't want to cough. It's still not balding. It's totally, it's balding. <laughs> it's my bald spots. Okay. And 
I stopped watching all the other sports, so. Why? Why? Because uh, most of these leagues, like the NFL, are made up of a whole bunch of whiny, whiny people, but uh, also are very anti-patriotic, so. Most of our other teams also just kind of suck. I know the Nuggets are doing good, but the Rockies What's are off play? to a rocky start. The Rockies always suck. Yeah, exactly. And the Broncos are never good. Ever since we lost Manning. I don't watch well, football. He retired. Yeah. Well, we still lost him. Like, he's gone. We're yeah. not getting him back. But he went out with a Super Bowl. Right. But... We've just never been good since, yeah. Yeah. Now we just... We suck. But we've got two teams in, like, their playoffs. So that's still solid. Still cool. Shots are still lopsided 17 to 9 for the Avs. Oh, he has a little wolf. That's so cool. I really love goalie helmets. I think they're awesome. He played the games on ESPN2 in the U.S. if you're uh, going to watch along or care to. Yeah, I like that the goalies get the design their masks. Gives them a little bit of personality. Yeah, because like, without it, I have no clue who's under there. Like, you can show me the number, but I have to think about it. But if I see the mask, I'm like, wait, I recognize who that is. That's and boom. kind of completely opposite of the way it should work. The number should give it away immediately. The mask shouldn't. Because <laughs> you don't get to look at their mask very closely very often. But, like, when you do, it makes sense in my brain. Okay. okay. It makes sense in my brain. Mm-hmm. Stop. Mm-hmm. I'm not psychotic. You know who is psychotic? You. You're low key okay. schizo sometimes. Sure. <laughs> Listen, this whole collection here, you're kind of crazy. Kind of yeah, crazy. That's just fun. I don't know, man. All right, the big lines back out there. Hellbuck's got it behind the goal. And, yeah, Winnipeg's going to go on some offense. Nope. Steal. Abs are breaking in. McKinnon's got it. And it's out of the zone. Bruh. Be for real. When the goalies go behind the net, I always get, like, super scared. I mean, you should have seen back in the day. Goalies used to play the puck a lot more than they do nowadays. As and in there like, was no trapezoid behind them back in the day. As in, there were goalies that uh, literally were specialized. You know, th this is a puck handling goalie that they passed it all the way out. Goalies used to get a ton of assists and stuff too. Because dude. They would pass it all the way out and actually start the breakout for uh, for the offense. Mm -hmm. Not like they left the goal or anything, right. but from the corners and stuff, they would uh, do a lot more work than than cool. they do now where you're kind of stuck in that trapezoid behind. Martin Brodeur used to uh, play the puck quite a bit. Patrick Waugh once uh, decided to skate it all the way past the center ice line. Which like he is a brought penalty. it down himself. Yeah, he actually uh, spun around Wayne Gretzky to take it across the center line, and then then the uh, the refs blew the whistle and called a penalty on him because it's against the rules for the goalie to carry it past the center line. Center Why ice. is it against the rules? Don't know. Cause like that's like a very risky thing to do. I feel like it shouldn't be a penalty. Yep, yeah, it's against the rules. That's crazy. But the fact that he tried to deke out. Wayne Gretzky, of all people. I know, that's, that's and he, crazy. Uh, apparently, Wad did not know that rule either, because he was just like, what? <laughs> it's a dumb rule. It was funny. Like, I mean, like, I guess I can understand it. I guess I can understand it, because it's like, if that guy gets hurt, <coughs> then kind of the whole team is kind of messed up. Well, that would still be their fault. I mean, why well, yeah, he? for sure. But, like, it's just like a prevention thing, I guess. 
I think Most it's more to prevent a team from putting uh, an actual forward or a skill. What was that? Dude. Oh my gosh. That's getting a little bit chippy. A little bit? Little. Nobody's dropped gloves or uh, thrown punches yet. Was it Wood again? Did he get smacked again? No, or was, was he coming? Kiwi Ronto got um, upended. Mm. And then Wood came in <laughs> to his uh, rescue. What a guy. But the way he got dumped down was crazy. See this replay. And, and of course, they're going to show the <sighs> the block shot, not the... That's sad. It's what, oh, ooh, that oh. Was almost into the bench. Trennan's all over the place, huh? Oh, my gosh. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. That one was a bit crazy. Holy crap. That was, like, really aggressive. <laughs> yeah, Davina says, Waugh was known for superstitious quirks. He often talked to the net post, and he never talked to reporters on days in which he was scheduled to play. He also refused to let his skates touch the red and blue lines on the ice, always stepping over them. Correct. You know, I've heard of He was also extremely twitchy. He still is, actually. If you watch him coach, he's constantly blinking and twitching. And uh, when he used to play goalie, you could sit there and watch him. Anytime he wasn't actually doing anything, he would just sit there and jerk his head all over the place. So He's a special little guy. Hey, yeah, he did his job. He was superstitious, superstitious, for sure. Yeah. You gotta love a good superstition. If it helps, it helps. Helped him most of his career. In the top three goalies in history. And he basically uh, revolutionized goalie play with the uh, butterfly. Right. Oh, for sure. Goalies are insane. They're crazy. They're, like, genuinely terrifying. You know, they used to not wear masks. Yeah. Yeah. That's so scary. And have very small pads. They're wild. Like, can you imagine? I would never put myself out there just to do that. I want to wear the pads just for fun. But I would never put myself in the net. Yeah, the pads are so thick now that uh, I mean, you're basically just there to absorb the shots. It's not like you feel any of them. Yeah, that's like, that's insane for someone to be like, I really, like, I want to be a goalie. Like, that's my life. That's that's what I want to do with my life. I would never. They have shown... Uh, they are a different breed. They have shown a lot of that commercial with the walrus and goal during the playoffs. I so like far. that one. I think they only show that one on the TNT broadcast, though, or whatever the other channel is that's doing the broadcast. It's really cute. I haven't I like seen it. it on ESPN, but that's an old commercial. That's like four or five years old, I think. Really? Yeah. Most of the commercials we've seen that are hockey commercials are throwback commercials that they're just bringing back for the playoffs this year. Right. I like it. Oh, my gosh. Dude's kind of lucky that he didn't... Uh, get the skate across his leg and it just barely hit him that was like so mean there I, was there even reason to do that like why would you ever put someone like completely flipped over that's the playoffs the, uh, yeah everything's sure. different <laughs> see this commercial is about two or three years old the one i like this the, commercial the gold horn i always say it's gonna be bill with her kids right for sure Yeah, soccer goalies, I would I would never want to do that. There's not much chance of getting hurt except in collisions. But uh, I mean, all soccer goalies do is guess. And and I played soccer all the way up through high school. It was varsity all four years or three years, and uh, yeah, our goalies. It was just like we just threw whoever wanted to be goalie back there. It was not like. Anybody was like, yep, I really want to be a goalie. It's like, okay, who came out to be a goalie this year? Because right. you basically made the team. Like, all attempt, yeah. That's so ick. A soccer goalie? That gives me the ick. Oh, 
Okay. 100%. No cap? No cap. <laughs> they got no riz? No riz. Um, no skibby toy like yachts. Rizzed up by Livy Dunn, Baby Gronk. Don't understand anything. I know. Mm-hmm. I ch- that's a checkmate. No, a checkmate is when I use all of your language in front of your friends. No, it's because you don't understand it when I say any of those words. So it's like you can't bite back. Yeah, I can. I can just say, your generation's stupid. So is yours. Which generation is mine? X? Sort of. You're like the in-between. You're the in-between. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you're like the weird one that doesn't really have like a generation. I'm yeah. the tiny, tiny X slash exactly. millennial. And majority and, of your... Oh, almost got a goal there for Manson. I like Manson. Shot totals are now 20 to 9. And yet we haven't sunk one. But they haven't either. So, you can't complain. I can complain. e said being a goalie is better than running up and down the field for an hour. That's so real. I hate running. We made him run in practice either way. Me. Wow. Oh Both teams have had oh my gosh. really good chances here in the last couple of seconds. Oh my goodness. And Manson's pissed. He was getting held down by the neck. Our soccer practice used to be just we would stretch and then the coach would uh, set his watch and we would run for the first 45 minutes of practice. Then when we got done with that, we would do a couple drills and then we would do suicide sprints where you go back and forth, but we would do them on a hill. So you'd oh have gosh. to run part way up the hill, back down part way, or the, another, you know, por- portion of the hill all the way, and then back down. All we did was run. C- soccer is mostly about conditioning. <laughs> if you know how to kick the ball, great, but uh, you have to be in shape to be able to run the whole game. So, Yeah, I'm so glad that when I was like five and you guys made me do play it now soccer, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this. And it wasn't even because I had to run because they never made us run. It was just because it was all boys. You guys never actually played soccer. You guys just swarmed a ball. Yeah. On an indoor field that was. But like, can you imagine if I liked that? (laughs) Can you imagine if I liked that? You heard me complain playing softball about running and you know, you run for like 10 seconds in softball. You put me on a soccer field, you're never going to hear the enemy. Never. Yeah, I mean, you could uh, you could probably uh, develop a little bit of muscle if you actually exercised at all. Hey, I... Mm, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> you're in high school and claim that you can't lift the dog's water bowl because it's too heavy. Yeah, and, I, you know, I'm going to stick with that because mm. I don't want to do it. Yep. Sheer laziness. You're... It's how it's supposed to be. It is how it is. Mm -hmm. And I'm good with it. So, oh, Av's got it. Oh, oh. Sad thing is, chat's going to know that they've scored before we do if there's another goal. Don't spoil it. No, do spoil it. I don't know. It's more fun to see it on the TV. Always. Nobody can keep their feet all of a sudden. I know, everybody's everyone's getting falling. Knocked over. Oh, there's... Ooh. Looking and had a chance there. Oh my goodness. We Another are all on out the floor. In front of <laughs> my favorite thing about those is like when they really get into it and the goalie just like skates a little bit away. It's like a mother watching seven toddlers go at it and she's just like, I can't do this right now. You know? Interesting analogy. (laughs) It's the first one I thought of. Like, what's a better one? Think of one right now, on the spot. I don't know. Exactly. I did my best. Okay. Yeah. All I said was, it was an interesting analogy. (laughs) Yeah, but, like, that's an insult. Middlestad keeps getting involved everywhere, too. Wood, Colton, and Middlestad are really stepping up from their normal roles and kind of getting some hits in there. It's funny when you have to protect Nachushkin. (laughs) Guy's built like a truck. They're kind of all built like a truck. 
he clay says not a good shot but score ratio for colorado well i mean that's and there's a winnipeg goal for he made it he made it come true there's a reason he's number 40 and it's because he lets four in every game at least four at least you know let me live in peace but back to what we were saying, yeah, I mean, that's that's Hellebuck. That's having a good goalie. You're going to have a uh, bad ratio of shots and goals. But at least you're peppering them with, uh, with shots. Yeah. That was just another busted play and people being out of position. I couldn't tell if they were doing a line change. Straight through the legs. I think it was a line change. Uh, Davina, are the live tickets extremely expensive in Colorado? Um, they very much can be, um, especially for the playoffs. We all sell off, you know, uh, the whole first round, and that'll pay for a good chunk of our whole season. If we make it to the second round, then I'll be going to at least one of the games and selling off some others. If there's an elimination game that'll be in Denver, then I'll typically go to those. But uh, um, as for the regular season, uh, our our tickets are like twenty bucks a piece. We've got two tickets up in the level three hundred, and I kind of like watching hockey uh, from up above because you can see things develop a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, I do like sitting down low every now and then, but uh, I'm perfectly fine sitting up high. In fact, that's also where most of the announcers are at. They're at the highest point in the arenas. Yeah, regular season tickets, 40 bucks a game for two seats. It's not bad. I mean, the parking costs $25, so that's <laughs> almost as much as what our... Uh, <laughs> it's having an extra seat, essentially, to, uh, to be able to just go up there and park anymore. But It is how it is. It's worth it. But we sell a lot of the games during the season. Because it's also an hour away from us. Um, well, an hour away with no traffic. At the times that the games are, it's almost impossible not to hit traffic. Because if you leave early for a game, you're going to hit the 5 o'clock traffic. And if you leave when you're supposed to from here, you're definitely going to hit the game traffic. So. Yeah. Oh. That stick is taking everybody out. 200 a seat is a lot for uh, for the upper level. I wouldn't be going at that cost because I'm just as, uh, just as fine watching it on TV. I like to hear the announcers talk. It fills my brain, my brain space. I think a Leafs game would be fun to go to one time in my life. And wear somebody else's jersey? Yeah, because the Canadians are Just crazy. Just to make them mad? Yeah, exactly. Like, they they get down with their hockey. Ooh, that was a nice stick to the face on Duhame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why we picked up Duhame. I like his name. To get a little bit rough. Duhame is a very, like, that's a that's a hockey name. 100%. You hear that, you think of hockey, I think. 35 to 35 on hits for the game. That's a lot of hits. The first game, yeah. or, well, the last game, uh, right before this one, there was over 100 hits in the game. <laughs> it is how it is. But that's why the Stanley Cup is so hard to win. The amount of hitting that happens once you get into the playoffs right. is so much more intense. I think that's where it's good to get a guy like Rempe. That's where it matters because yeah, he's, he's your not little good intimidator. To be out on the ice enough to. He got a goal today. A whole lot. <laughs> he got a goal today. He got a goal today. He got a goal today. He averages like six minutes a game. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but it's fun watching him play because he's so tall and lanky, and it's like he has to bend down really far to do anything. You're goofy. It's interesting to watch. I really like watching tall people because they don't know what Zeno to do with Chara themselves. Back when he was playing, he was—he's the six-nine guy, right? Yeah, 
He used to be. He Boston's, was on the Bruins. Uh, yep. Their captain for years and years and years. Seeing the photos of him next to like a regular sized guy, like a five seven guy, is really awkward. Because he just towers. Every time. I think I've got a picture of Chara in front of somebody else. Let me see if I can find it. He's scary. He's a scary dude. I don't think I could stand next to either of them without being, like, super intimidating. Intimidated. Yeah, the hockey skates add another inch or two true. on everybody. But, like, even photos of them just, like, existing next to people. Like, them signing jerseys after games. It's like, dude, you're a skyscraper. Why are you that tall? The Canadians make some tall people, which is weird. Because I feel like Canadians, in my mind, are super short. Where are you coming up with the Canadians? The Canadians. The Canadi- because hockey is very popular in Canada. No, no, it doesn't no. mean most of the players are Canadian. Rempe is from Calgary. Rempe? Exactly. And he's the one I'm talking about specifically. Mm. His parents made some t- one tall child. One huge man. Like, that's... That's scary. I'm starting to get the feeling that you got into hockey because you've got a crush on him. Hey, I think that was easy to tell from the <laughs> moment I started liking hockey. <laughs> that's that's why I watch things. That's why I do things. Call of Duty, I watched it because I liked Ghost. <coughs> that's it. Because what? Because I liked Ghost. Mm. Yeah. That's how I got into it, and now I'm, like, addicted. Same thing happened with hockey. It is how it is. I cannot find the picture. There's one with Chara, and he's right behind somebody on the ice, and it just looks like he's a giant just chasing him down. Did you get it just, like, off? Uh, I just got it when I was doing uh, research for the Saturday Night Show and pulling clips and videos and stuff. This is terrifying. Yeah, next to like, Marshan. <laughs> that's so scary. There he is. He's huge. Yeah, I've seen that photo like four times. Yeah, let me bring that one in and I can display it. I could never. I like a tall person, but that's so scary. Let's see if we can figure out how to bring it in. 24 to 10 now on shots. We're still dominating. Shots aren't mattering a whole lot. We're doing our best. It matters. It matters. It'd be cool if we could get a goal right now. In the next 20 seconds. I'm calling it. <laughs> He's huge. Here's the picture of Chara. He <laughs> is huge. <laughs> That's so scary. He is big. Like, can you imagine just standing next to that guy? Can you imagine being the idiots who tried to fight him all the time? <laughs> he would just hold the. He would just put his hand out and just kind of hold them back, like no. No, yeah, you that can't reach me. <laughs> that makes complete sense. I would do that too. When he did fight, yeah, it was it was usually pretty ugly. And he uh, he used to do the skills competition um, for the hardest shot, and he's just got so much leverage that uh, he was getting it over a hundred miles an hour. Oh um, my gosh, that's another reason I wouldn't want to be a goalie. I a like giant would be shooting a puck at you at hundred miles an hour. Yes. Like, I'm mean, I'm mean to Georgiev, but in reality, it's like, if someone was shooting a puck at me at, like, 90 miles per hour, I'd be scared to put my hand up, too. <laughs> like. <laughs> and I'm not sure, I mean, because Rempe is so young, I'm not sure how much, uh, I mean, he's, what, 21? I mean, Chara yeah, 21. was, Chara was a, a big dude, too. Not just tall, but, I mean, he wasn't, like, lanky. Right. I'm not, I haven't seen enough of Rempe like, to know he, if he was, he's... Lanky he's or... lanky he's lanky i got i've seen photos of that dude so we've he's got lanky. the first penalty in the game winnipeg's going on the power play boo boo 
It's okay. We'll keep it out. I say with full confidence. Well, we had a great penalty kill up until the last few weeks. That's true, yeah. We had gone like 38 straight kills or something like that. Yeah, we were doing pretty good. <sighs> this is more nerve-wracking than anything. That was a nice kick by Georgiev. Shocking. Well, he's <laughs> let in his four, so he's pretty much done. Whoa. That's bold of you to say. <laughs> That's bold of you to say. That's when he typically uh, starts shutting him down after he's given his fourth. Well, okay, there's the nickname for Giev, and then there's a lot of people that have adopted five Giev. It doesn't fit as well, but, you know, it makes sense because it's happened before. I have a little bit of faith in him. Do you? No, I'm telling you to. Oh. No. Um, Sure. Uh, maybe a tiny bit. Just a little bit. There's a clear finally. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. That'll get a line change for both teams. That was Trinan again. He's having himself a pretty good game. Right. Trinan and Wood have been very impressive. Indeed. I like Wood. He's a pretty cool dude. His there's, outfits before games are very clear. nice. We're down to 15 seconds left in the uh, power play and 4 minutes and 20 seconds left in the period. Just need one more clear, maybe even a breakout, because if we can get the puck right here right at the end of this. It'd be nope, very nice. Not getting it away from him. Oh my goodness. Oh, we did. Got the breakout if he gets there. Nope. Oh my goodness. They didn't get a goal. That's what matters. Nope. Oh, penalty, penalty kill did its job. Yep. It's still amazing that that was the first penalty in this game. Yeah. Especially with the uh, the way the hits have been coming. A lot of hits. A lot of hits. But I think that was also the problem with the last game, with the, all those penalties in the first period. Right. It was the refs are, were not letting that game be a playoff game. Yeah. They were calling a whole bunch of soft stuff. Right. Where these ones have uh, swallowed the whistle for the most part. But I haven't seen anything egregious that's, I mean, <laughs> like they're missing calls. Yeah. Those are so awkward to watch, especially when the camera gets, like, really in place. Because they're all when bunched the together. The yeah. Well, Winnipeg's oh, catching up on shots at this point. 24 to 16 now after that power play. That Here's a, a chance count. for the Avs. Oh, oh, nobody home. Mm. And he took a big ride into the wall. Who was that, Colton? That's a great question. Yeah, it was Colton. <laughs> Oh no, going the other way. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, that wasn't as bad. There's a big save by Georgiev. Freeze the puck. He's holding down. Maybe I'll trust him a tiny bit. This period. Yeah, Just this period. Usually the shots even out. Um, but at the same time, usually the uh, power plays will even out during a game, too. Uh, the refs definitely uh, do keep track in their head how many how many uh, power plays that have been awarded to each team. It almost always gets to even by the end of the game. Dude, Georgiev is 28. Sounds about right. He's been around for a bit. That's crazy. I thought he was way younger. I was thinking like 24. Four years is way younger. 
Yes, the difference between 24 and 28 is a lot. It's like when people say 16 and 18 is only a two-year age gap, but the maturity level's crazy. Crazy different. Crazy different. I'm so serious. It's the same thing for 28, 24. A 30-year-old and a 25-year-old, those are completely different, like, life. That's totally different. Going back into the Valley Girl uh, vocal fry. Stop. It's, like, totally different. Totally. I need you to stop it. Totally. Get out. Hey, what's up, kitty bear? I'm grossed out. First thing I hear joining the stream was period. Did I say that? Yeah. I said, like, I don't period. Know. Like, per. Like, period. Did I? If I did, I'm sorry. I don't say that often. <laughs> like, that's kind of ick. That's kind of ick. I totally get that. Who do you think is going to win the Norris? Don't know. Haven't given it much thought this year. Neither have I. That's why I was asking. <laughs> no guesses? That one's the defenseman trophy, right? Like. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure. Well, yeah. I'd like it to be Kale McCarr, clearly. I don't think that'll happen. I think it'll be Hughes. I, I like the Hughes brothers, all of them. I do not. Why? I hate them as much as I hate the Kachucks. The Kachucks are annoying. They just multiply. Actually, I don't hate them as much as I hate the Kachucks. I just am not a fan of the Hughes brothers. The Kachucks, I hate. Why Why the Hughes? Like, what's, what's, your, de what's your deal? Don't know. I like them. They play they they play pretty good. Hey, what's up, Jacob? This is my daughter Jamie. What's up? She likes hockey, so we're like doing hockey. the watch along, and I figured it'd be better to have somebody to talk to than to try to do it by myself because I'm not a great play by play guy. Neither and watch alongs are pretty boring if it's dead silent the whole time. <laughs> I fill the air sometimes. Yeah, with things like ick. Ick. You saying that to me is an ick. That's icky. You're gross. You're mean. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm the least icky person on the planet. Swear on it. We've got 37 seconds left in the period. McKinnon's got the puck out in front and couldn't get a shot off. Yes, I have heard of the Knights. I like the Knights. Sort of. They're pretty good. Um, yeah, she knows of them. I she, know. She watches just about everybody. Yeah, And I, I was actually everything. at the Golden Knights Avs game last week at the meetup. You're the reason we lost. Mm. I'm sure of it. No, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that one was one where... The Avs had one power play that whole game, and uh, the Golden Knights had four that let them catch back up. That was like that was a disgusting game. It was horrible. Three zero to a four three loss. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one was the one I turned off. No, that I turned off the Jets game when yeah, we the hit Jets like. Jets game was bad. The seven yeah, zero. They got to like five zero, and I said, "Okay, I'm done," and I turned it off. That was a big hit. I didn't see it. Replay. Manson just crushed somebody, and I'm pretty sure. Did they call a penalty on that? Oh. Oh my goodness. Need a rider down. His feet came right out from under him. Gone. Winnipeg, and uh, Winnipeg's coming up on the hits. I don't know if I'm going back to Vegas for a couple years. I, like I, Vegas. I hate that city now. Can we wait until I'm 21? Um, yeah, that's like six years. You're not going to like going when you're 21 if we're just going for the meetup. Hey, at least I can actually maybe do one thing. Because last time I sat in the hotel room. Eh, you went to Meow Wolf or we wh didn't whatever get to go is connected to, to it. We didn't. We went to the thing where they played, um, they had like all the walls were projected with the moon and it was actually really cool and I liked it a lot and I totally would go again. 
So you did do something while you were there. I did, but you that's just the only couldn't thing go I did. to the meetups because they that's were 21 and up. Yeah, the thing, Jake, it's just gotten so stupid there. Like, you know, back in the day, they used to just sit there and try to pass you smud. And it was <laughs> mostly uninvasive. Now they try to get you to buy timeshares while you're walking down the actual strip. If you exit a casino, you're going to get hit up over and over and over. So it doesn't make you want to walk the strip like, you know, you used to walk the strip all the way up and down it multiple times during a trip. Now it's just annoying. It's harassing. I like walking around there. It's interesting seeing the people. I like people watching like that. Yeah, the pirate show doesn't exist anymore, I don't think. And the volcano is about to uh, go away as well. The hard rock is going to um, put in something where the volcano at the Mirage is. Do you know if they're doing another show type thing? No, they're putting in just like the a hotel. hard rock hotel and casino. That's so disappointing. That's very disappointing. I like the, the hard rock. I think but... the Tropicana either just got the um, either it just got demolished or it's scheduled to be demolished. What was the Tropicana? Just another one of the old hotels. Oh, they just keep like... tearing them down and building new ones. Did I ever go to that hotel? Mm, not likely. Cool. Then doesn't matter to me. My favorite hotel got destroyed about oh 15, 16 years ago now. I what loved hotel? the Frontier. Oh. That was the best casino. They had a great steakhouse, um, and then they had a great uh, Mexican restaurant that had the best appetizer bean dip I have ever had. Gross. And the steaks there were, uh, I mean, the actual gambling steaks were l on the lower end, so it wasn't everything being so expensive. That's nice. I liked that one hotel that we stayed in when we had COVID because it had steak and shake. I couldn't eat it because I was so sick. But... That was the South Point. Yeah. That's way off the strip. Yeah, but like it was it was a nice hotel. I don't think Kiwi Ranta is getting the hat trick, 70s. And good to see you. Uh, Davina, the Luxor, yeah, it's cool from the outside. On the inside, it's not as not as cool as you would think. For it being a pyramid. I want to go inside the sphere. It's it's actually a ton of wasted space for a place that is so, you know, trying to use every inch of that uh, that strip to be entertaining. The pyramid takes up a lot of space. Uh, yeah, I went I went down to Fremont. Um, what was that Friday night during the meetup, and. Unfortunately, had to see Alien Ant Farm because they were playing the free concert down there. The, the wife wanted to go see it, and so got to see Alien Ant Farm do their one song. Was that the video she showed me that one time? Probably. Cool. <laughs> basically, basically. Why are you doing that? Because it's a uh, an old. Um, well, it's about three years old. They were interviewing this guy coming across the uh, the border. And they said, so are you just coming here because uh, Joe Biden invited everybody uh, across the border? And the guy just turns and looks and goes, basically, basically. <laughs> you have like... Yep, smooth criminal. You have a very basic sense of humor. Mm, don't <laughs> care. I know you don't. Yep, Chad. We went and saw Alien Ant Farm right after I got in trouble for going on your show and doing music trivia. I did. Yes, but her brain is very small. That's not... I have a huge brain. It's huge. I have a 4.0. Smooth. Did you have a 4.0? Smooth brain. Did you have a 4.0? Yes. And I didn't have to switch schools from a charter private school Dude. to a public school where you're two years ahead of all of the classes right now to do it either. Okay. Well, okay. Listen, 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 listen. It was more because I didn't like the people. It wasn't because I wanted something easier. Yes, it is. And yet it's yes, it is. a it's hell of a lot easier. And it's easier. Yeah. 
And I love it, and I think you should never put any child in charter private school because they suck so bad. Yep. It's horrible. Public school sucks far worse. It's so entertaining. What, watching everybody beat each other up? Yes. That's why I watch There's a Starbucks next to her school, and they will not let anybody from the school go to the Starbucks anymore because there were too many stabbings and whatnot. Yeah, there was one stabbing. That's too many amongst high schoolers. There's there's one stabbing. They close it from like 2 o'clock to just the rest of the day. They don't open it again. You can go through the drive-thru whenever. But... Chad's making fun of you now. What? <laughs> Chad said, uh, you're basically saying, everybody says I have the biggest brain, the best brain. I do. It's a huge brain. I have a... You like Trump. So me saying that is like a huge, huge. Huge. Yep. Yeah. You say it better. <laughs> they don't have a metal detector. No, they just literally closed the Starbucks. Yeah. Like, they lock the doors. They have a security From guard. From, like, 2 to 4 o'clock when uh, the kids would be able to go over there. Yeah, so we're not allowed inside Starbucks. And the gas station that's also right next to it, we have to take our hoodies off and our backpacks, and we have to leave them outside. Because you're all hoodlums and nobody likes you. I'm not a hoodlum. You're at the school. You're included with the rest of them. Stop. You should have Stop. gone. You're, you're lucky you didn't get homeschooled. Dude, Imagine I want to be having to put up with this every day. I want to be homeschooled. It's too late for that. Why? No, I could totally do next year. I could do online school. No. Think about it. No. It'd be really cool. I wouldn't have to um, deal with the stabbings. You Isn't that a great thing? Hey, <laughs> there's your uh, Jennifer Coolidge commercial again. Oh my gosh, I'm Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> Where else am I going to use my air horn? I love her. Oh, you're watching that, Chad? That's a mistake. What is it? Rebel, Explain. Rebel Moon 2, the new Zack Snyder Netflix movie. I don't know who that is. Yeah, well. I'll look him up. Mm, he's not affiliated with us. Right, Chad? How do she you, doesn't know what that means. How do you, how do you, this guy? Yeah. Makes bad movies. Mm, he looks like the kind of guy to make bad movies. Well, he made a movie that is basically just, uh, mm, takes from a whole bunch of other movies like Star Wars and everything else. And uh, yeah, He made Batman vs. Superman? Trash. Yeah. I liked Batman vs. Superman. And that's the wrong thing to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. He also did the Zack Snyder cut of the Justice League. What That's is why it? it's called the Snyder Cut. I didn't watch that one. Good. I think I only watch Batman vs. Superman, and that's why I liked it. <laughs> Davina says you should have to watch Rebel Moon just to, just to uh, torture you a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, it depends on what it's about. It's a uh, space opera type yeah, thing. Yeah, like I don't Wars. like that. I don't like that. Good. Then you won't like the <laughs> Zack Snyder movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I, I didn't like Star Wars at all. She says, then you'll know true suffering. I know true suffering. And it's sitting in the garage with this guy. Confirmed. (laughs) Very confirmed. He's mean to me. Zack Snyder would make a killing doing lingerie commercials with hot women. Would he? I mean, probably not. I mean, he used to do music (laughs) videos, I think. Ew. The only good music videos are by 21 Pilots and The Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden. That is the best music video to ever exist. Black Hole Sun? Yes. And it was good, but after the the hundredth time seeing it, it doesn't do much. I love it. You know, I play it for all my classes so that they can see what, like, horror should be, because that's scary. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. It's because Zack Snyder does everything in slow mo, so. Oh, I see. Yeah. Weapon of Choice with Christopher Walken was good. I doubt she's ever seen that one. Nope. What is Stand and Deliver? I haven't seen the movie Stand and Deliver, so I don't know. 
70s is oh, very oh. old, so it may be something yeah. from the 30s. From the 30s? From the 1830s? Possibly. <laughs> Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. I haven't seen it. I don't listen to music like that. Unless this one shows it to me. Actually, probably my favorite music video is AFI Silver and Cold. Have you shown that to me? Mm-hmm. Cool. I don't, I don't remember. It's the one that has the plot twist at the end. It's the guy that's standing on the bridge getting ready to jump off the bridge, and all of his band goes to try to stop him. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did show me that. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good one. Janie's Got a Good was a... Janie's Got a Gun was a good one. Yep, Smokey. Very He's true. Living up to his name. <laughs> Very true. I hate that guy. <laughs> he makes me mad. Yeah, Silver and Cold was a uh, a very interesting video. I don't really watch music videos. I just like listening. I mean, they kind of don't exist as much anymore. And when they do, but all of us it sucks. Grew up in a time when yeah, music videos were That's nonstop like on MTV. Right? Yeah, you had MTV. That's the difference. And we had VH1. What is that? That was another channel like on TV. Okay. They used to do pop up video where they would play the uh, um, the music video and then just have it pop up in little bubbles and a whole bunch of different little facts about the song or the video That's or the band. That's interesting. Neither did I. I didn't watch MTV. I watched MTV right up until it became not MTV anymore. Uptown Funk was a genuinely bad song. So the music video can't be that good. Was it? Yeah, Chad. BH1 was adult contemporary to MTV's younger skewing pop. Sick. But they had the behind the musics also. So they right. would do, there was like a documentary that was an hour long that would be on That's fun. Metallica or... Is that why you know Ozzy all Ozzy Osbourne. Documentaries? That's why I have a plethora of music knowledge just from that time period. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Useless knowledge. Your... Well, it comes in handy on Chad's show on Friday nights. And when we drive to go see the Avs games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes. Video Killed the Ready Star was a really good music video, I will say. I watched that one. That one's good. It was the first music video. Yeah. And it's good. Duh. VH1 was definitely the Deep Blue Something channel every morning. Yeah. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Pretty sure that dude was a high school teacher before um, Breakfast at Tiffany's blew up. And High school teachers to, are uh, insane. He had to leave that job to uh, do the Deep Blue something stuff because it blew up pretty big just for that one song. That's some weird interference. I have no idea what that could have been from. Our dishwasher? <laughs> yeah, music videos. Sometimes the music video is better than the song. No. It's definitely a situation. There are definitely situations where the music video is a completely separate thing from the song. No, if you can't like the song, you can't like anything about it. That's my motto. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm always no, right. Even the one that was mentioned earlier, the one with Christopher Walken. Not a fan of the song, but the video is great. I don't know what you're talking about. We'll have to show it to you at some point. Uh, weapon of choice. That voice then. All of Weird Al's songs are better than their originals. Can't confirm. I love Weird Al. I did get her into Weird Al. Weird Al is. I still listen age. to Weird Al all the time. When I'm bored, I put on Weird Al. And it makes for a really good time. All the time. He is a genius. I agree. Wholeheartedly. 
He's a really cool dude. I still need to watch his movie. UHF? Or sure. the one that came out? The one like that just year. came out. Yeah, it's Didn't not really the guy that played movie. Harry Potter play him in it? Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, that's his name. I don't care for him. I haven't made it to a Weird Al concert yet, but I would like to. I want to go to one. I'll sing every lyric. Pinky Promise. We got two minutes left in intermission. And then we go to the third period. Where hopefully the Avs have yet another comeback in them. Most comebacks we of any need, team this year. We only need two goals. That's easy. Easy peasy. I don't listen to any polka other than Weird Al, so I can't <laughs> agree or disagree with that. <laughs> so. I do you know. like his polkas better than I like most of his other songs because I just like him throwing together a whole bunch of uh, pop and, and rock songs. That's exactly. Yes. If you like him, but you don't like my takes, because I'm here right now, this stream, you can't like. It's illegal. You're going to go straight to jail. Automatically. She's got a mouth on her, doesn't she? I, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I'm speaking pure truth. I think some of Weird Al's original songs are better than the parodies. I like all his songs. Yeah. All of them. They're all good. I like Christmas at Ground Zero. There's a, there's a lot of originals that he has. Yeah. I think I'm drawn more to his polkas, or the parodies and stuff, because like, that's stuff I know automatically so i can be like oh my gosh i can sing that right now well and i've made you listen to most of the songs that he's done the major parodies that's of. true and i like them i like them all of them yes i've even made her listen to macarthur's park over and over and over which one is that it's the one that he did jurassic park on <sighs> i have to hear it i love white and nerdy it's one of my favorites. The Weird Al version is Jurassic Park is frightening in the dark. All the dinosaurs are running wild. Someone let the T-Rex out of his pen. Yeah. And MacArthur's Park is about a cake melting in the rain. Cake melting in the rain. Yeah. And he's Does cake upset melt? because he'll never have that recipe again. Does it actually melt like that? All right, we got Puck Drop coming up. In fact, it probably happened for most of you. <laughs> Amish Paradise was great. That's fun. That's also a really good one. I think about that often. And I think of the Roman Empire. Do you? Mm -hmm. do, do you really? Do you think of the Roman Empire, or like, do you think of the meme about the Roman Empire? No, it's really not a meme for most guys. Well, I know, but like, we all think about it. I think about the Greeks. On at least a daily basis. I think about oh, the Greeks. almost a goal right there off the bat. Almost twice. Hellebuck comes up with the save. He's a good goalie. He's a very good goalie. On further consideration, Quince Queen's Princes of the Universe is, is the best music video ever. Um, Maybe the first minute of it? Actually, I don't remember the uh, the video. But there's only a minute of that song that's good. McKinnon has a gallop. Like, huge gallop. I love it. Watching him hit the ice and he just starts horsing around. Love it. Oh, you're saying gallop. Yeah, gallop. What do you okay. think I was saying? I could not figure out what you were saying. It sounded like really? catlip. Callip? Yeah. A gallop. I don't know what that was. A gallop. So, yeah, gallop. I'm having a fight right now. Do you say coyotes or coyotes? Coyotes. Or the yotes. You can't say coyotes and then call them the yotes. There you go. 
No, you can't. Thoughts and prayers. Because you're that. wrong. You're wrong. The opening of the Highlander TV show is the best version of the music video. Yeah. Prince of the Universe for the Highlander TV show was great. <laughs> I was sniffing into the microphone. It was an accident. <laughs> the one time. Yeah, we need McKinnon to get a little bit mad. He's Maybe very he needs to throw a helmet at somebody's face. <laughs> That's still one of my favorite videos. That happened, what, three years ago? Yeah, three or four-ish. Two weeks ago um, was the anniversary. Yep. We showed it on bourbon and boarding. Wow. So special. Mm-hmm. So special. All right, Avs. Do something. Or just dump the chase. I think oh. most of McKinnon's game is just 100% adrenaline. They probably just hit him with an EpiPen every time he uh, gets to the bench. <laughs> an EpiPen. Now go again. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh. That helmet throw was, I never want to win the Lady Bing ever. I wonder who will get the Lady Bing this year. I haven't heard any talk about it. No, I haven't. Not I haven't that it matters at all. At all. As a, an award. All of it has been the Art Ross, the Norris, and the Hart. That's all I've seen. I'm going to be very upset if uh, McKinnon does not win one of the two MVPs. I want him to win the actual Hart. I know, but, uh, yeah. I think the players are going to vote McDavid. Which is so stupid. McDavid, like, sure, he's a good player, but he's, like, he's kind of just a guy. Dang it. Oh my gosh. No goal. Referee waved it off. Replay. It's a penalty. I need to see what happened here. Yeah, because that was confusing. I saw it go over the line. He immediately waved it off, though. Yeah, he what are they calling? That it never went in? Oh. Nope. Oh my gosh. It, that but that's in. Nope. It never fully crossed. Wow. There was never white in between it. Dude, he had good sight to be able to call that off right there. Cause I would have said that's a good goal. <laughs> that was crazy. Hey, I'm not complaining. We're well, not getting five give. We'll yet. see. I mean it's still under review. But I did not see anything that says that that's definitively across that line. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's some puck luck right there. That is crazy. There's the closest where it could have been. Right. But we're watching it from the top view, so it's harder to tell. That's the view they're going to use, though. Unfortunately, we can't hear the explanation. Yeah. They gave it to him. <sighs> Dude. Well, we hit five give. Bedner just looks like, what the hell are you guys looking at? <laughs> it may have been that while it was in the air over. before it lands. It may have yeah. been over. Just barely. A little eyelash length. Interesting. That's a hard one. Bedner's still furious. For Bedner. I mean, that's about as much emotion <laughs> as that guy shows. I know. He's scary. Just because, like, he doesn't really look so mad when things like that happen. Well, there's nothing you can do to change it. Well, yeah, but I'd be over there huffing and puffing, you know? You'd be Patrick Waugh. 
you're twitching. I don't know. I mean, the thing about it is, and I can't hear the announcers, but I think they just brought it up from the closed captioning. If it was called no goal on the ice, it has to be definitive to overturn that call. Right. And I didn't see anything definitive in that. But that's also probably the homer in me. Not the homer. Which Homer? Homer Simpson or Homer the Iliad? The Homer being, I'm cheering for my home team. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. I didn't say any of, you didn't hear me say anything. Yeah. <laughs> real big brain there. <laughs> Thought you were going real smart with the, uh, the Iliad, huh? No, because like you can really... So I think like Homer the Iliad, Iliad all the time. That's a guy I think about all the time. Okay. It's that's my Roman Empire, the Iliad. <laughs> I think about it all the time. That hit the post three different times. That's crazy. I don't see that being in question right there. That looks like it was still not. Oh, and they are giving him a power play, huh? Bruh. Dude. And this we... is a rough game. Eh, it's 5-3. to three. We still yeah, got plenty five of time, to three. but uh, we still haven't had a single power play. Yeah. And they were so busy showing all those replays, I never saw what Natushkin did mm -hmm. to get into the box. That was a quick 30 seconds of that penalty kill, though. It went by really fast, yeah. I mean, nothing really happened. And that's fine with me. Yeah. That's always good. How do you say that name? Shafely? Shifely? Uh, Shifely. Shifely? There's some crazy names. Absolutely insane. Kiwi Ronta. Yeah. Miles Wood. Miles Wood is not a weird name. Oh, okay. Compared to the other ones. I mean, like, I would not want to have the last name Wood. Georgiev is, uh... It's Russian. It's so Russian. That is, like, the Russian name. Dang it. There is another goal. Okay. Um, I'm counting us out here. <laughs> this is where I call the line. We're done. We lost. It'll be hard to catch up with Winnipeg, Winnipeg on that one. Yeah. They're too good on defense to pump in three quick ones but we'll see it's over it's jover we lost <laughs> i'm fully convinced forever <laughs> they're already making memes out of bedner's face <laughs> said the moment you just watch the puck hit the post three times and then supposedly go in and it's just his face going Oh my gosh. Nope. Oh my goodness. Gonna get a little fight in here? Nope. Nobody's gonna drop the gloves. Don't really want to see ranting and dropping the gloves either way. Mm -mm. Majority of these guys standing in this little huddle. I don't. We don't need any of them hurt. Begging. And commercial break. And it's the walrus. I love this one. He's all cute up in that little net there. Mm 
Yeah, this commercial is at least five years old. Ugh. Three goals down. Fifteen minutes left. Um, I'd be shocked if we tied up even. Yeah, I think you're right, Smokey. If uh, Eustace was available, he'd probably be in the game to at least see if they could uh, get some shutdown out of one of the goalies help decide for next game. 100%. I miss him. I hope we see him on Tuesday. Yeah. Because I'm getting pretty tired of the Yorgiev thing. We all are. I think there's one person in the world that likes Georgiev, and it's this one person on TikTok that I follow. Nobody else. Not a single soul other than that one person. That's likes assuming Georgiev. his mother really doesn't like him, or his father. You know, he's a goalie. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. Unfortunately. <laughs> Hello, Jillian. Hi, Bill. <laughs> we lost. It's over. There's 14 minutes left. We lost. Yeah, we'll just sign Waugh from the <laughs> Islanders coach coaching bench and uh, put him back in pipes. He'd do better. He'd do better. 100%. Well, we get our first power play of the game. We need to score here to have much hope. What even happened? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I don't know. It had something to do with that scrum. Oh. Cool. We are cooked. We're cooked. 100%. Goal. Lekkonen. Ah! We bought it back. Sort of. That was quick. Yeah. Are we're good you, on the power play. Are you done now with the we're done? We're no. <laughs> I'm not done. We're cooked. Unless we get two more power play, three more power plays right now and we do the exact same thing, we're none cooked. Of, none of you have watched, you, Jill, Josh, none of you have watched enough hockey to... Right? I'm calling it here. <laughs> no. Cooked. And if we... Bring it back. If that's going to be your attitude, this, young lady. You're not going to be invited back to the show. Stop. <laughs> Dude, put a Rangers game on. I'll go crazy. I know you won't, but. No, I definitely won't. We can't get the goalie out, Jill. Dude, we have one of the Eagles we... that came up as our backup. On and is sick. On and sick. So we don't have a backup, pretty much. That's what we're sitting at. Nothing. <laughs> I believe that about you, Kitty Bear. Well. I don't like that there's a time lapse that even Smokey's getting uh, a more live feed than we are, and we're watching it on cable in Colorado. <laughs> Oh, absolutely not, Jill. No, do it. It'd be really funny. What would you even do? Nothing. And that's why she should be modded. Guaranteed. Exactly, Smokey. I mean, you saw the Lekkonen goal. You typed it before it actually happened on our TV. That is, like, that's disgusting to me. And I'm you're in New Zealand. That's a while away. Stupid ESPN. How far away is that from us? Like, hours. Hours? Yeah. A lot. I'm going to look it up. Okay. I'm curious now. Well, that looked promising until Wood passed it directly to the other team, or was that McKinnon? That was McKinnon, wasn't it? I 
empty net for the last 10 minutes. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, Jill. What are we showing here? Huh? Oh. That was a good screen. I don't know why they're showing it, like there was something wrong with that. Could I tell you? It's 7,490 miles away. Mm-hmm. Um, it's 20 hours, 18 minutes. That is and a And we must get scored on because Smokey just got upset in the chat. Yep. Alright, what are we at? Seven Giev? That one doesn't hit. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Siete. Siete Giev. And there's our little kid uh, goalie sitting on the uh, bench. He had, he had the wings. They were pretty nice looking. Did you see one of the games they didn't have a uh, chair for the uh, uh, backup goalie? Uh -oh. He had to just stand. Dude, that sucks. With all that padding. Pull Giev is correct. Pull him out now. On and in better uh, get over what this little bug is quick and be ready to go Tuesday. Because I don't want to see Giev again. I need him to play because it's bad. Now even the announcers are talking about it. Of course they are. Oh. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. We don't like people biting the curb in here. Oh my gosh. That was the wimpiest thing I've ever seen. He like had a setup for a shot and then it went right back under his stick. That's insane. Everybody's texting me that doesn't watch the regular season and just started watching hockey. And they're <laughs> like, what is going on? It's like, well, that's Georgiev being Georgiev. Am I right now in saying that we're cooked and we're going to end up the same way all the time with Gurgiev in the net? Your chats are going through just fine. They're even on screen. Come on, Bill. I should mute you. Be for real, Bill. Come on. Pull through. I do like the Bruins, sometimes. Yeah, but Mike's a Toronto fan. So that's why he gets chirped. Yeah, that's rough. That is rough. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand the pain there. <laughs> Did you, like, mute a certain saying? Are you able to do that? Um, no, nothing's come through that's Okay, yeah. Mommy. Jill, Jill said, special teams, special plays, special players, and it got muted. Goal? Wood says it's in. They seem excited. Did he blow the whistle? Well, then we're going on the power play. Yeah, it said whistles blown just before he poked it in. Yeah, he pushed the pad either way. Bruh. Krimlon, you're sounding just like her. They're cooked. They're cooked? They're cooked. Maybe for this game. See, I made Get my... Get on in there and let's see what happens. 
that's what I say every single time. And people are like, well, on and in, you know, he's not that good. But he can stop stuff and not let in seven. Have you not finished Letterkenny, Davina? The series ended last, well, what, five months ago? Four months ago? I liked the last season. It was, it was pretty good. Kind of a throwback to some of the other seasons. Got everybody back involved. No, they looked horrible against the Jets the other day, but uh, it's a seven-game series, hopefully. I doubt it. I'm calling it in five. Oh, this will go six. Mm. In fact, we need it to go six so I can sell off the tickets for the sixth game. <laughs> no, I, I think it's going to hit five, and I think if we don't play good and we play like this, we're not winning. Now, Letterkenny is one of the best shows ever. There's a few few seasons that it dips down a little bit, but for the most part, it was pretty high quality throughout the whole run. I think it's on Hulu right now. All right, what are we going to do on this power play? Hopefully get a goal. The only problem with watching it like this is I can't hear what's going on with the announcers and everything. Yeah. But I hate listening to national announcers either way. Fair enough. Oh. Oh my goodness. What? That They're was... just tripping over each other. Well, that was the one where Wood thought he scored. I know. It's just so funny. They're straight up stumbling. They need Rantanen to get on the board here. Yeah, we're watching it actually on cable on instead of uh, the streaming site, Smokey. Because it should be more live than a streaming site. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was close. Oh my goodness. And it was almost ranting. Dude. Come on. Oh. Almost got a redirect. One minute left in the power play. Makar, goal. Yay! Imagine putting the over-under on this game at five and a half goals. Thank goodness for Makar. Georgiev can't let anything else in. Probably will. I mean, we can, we can score two more goals and at least get it tied up. In fact, I would not be opposed to a, uh, an overtime. The way this game has gone. I mean, <laughs> just to get it fair. there. But uh, if Georgiev lets anything else, they're done. An the, over under on two how goals many goals is Georgiev in seven lets minutes in. and 33 seconds, especially if we get one and then have the pulled goalie situation in the last two minutes or so. The Avs are potent enough offense. You have a lot of faith. A lot of it. Yeah, I'm an Avs fan. Not a nasty Rangers fan. Listen. The only guess reason who you've won? got the jersey on is because you borrow it from me. Yeah, because I don't own one. I don't own any jersey. And yet, if you were to buy one, I'd bet it would be a Rangers you jersey. You know, that's funny, because uh, for my birthday, Addie was considering getting me a Rangers jersey. <laughs> So, yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Unfortunately. (laughs) 
Plus, you're not supposed to win the games at the other uh, team's house. You, you're only trying to get one of the first two games to make it a series and get rid of their home ice advantage. Okay, but it'd be great if we just won anything right well, now. Well, the fact that it's not a 7-0 or 7-1 game like it was last time we played them, at least there's goals happening. I mean, yeah. It's not like, near as ugly as the last time. We have six minutes to get two more. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm looking at the odds. And it probably won't happen, but no. the Avs are one of the only teams that has a high-powered offense enough to do it. Right. Yeah, that's fair. It's fair. And have done it multiple times this year. Yeah. But will they do it right now is the question. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, Kitty Baron, that's pretty much what we're saying. It, we might be better off without the goalie in the net. It's <coughs> unfortunate. Exactly, Krimlon. No, Gross that's wrong. Rangers. That's wrong. I love the Rangers. Ick. Like, you can't use that against me. I just did. You're not allowed to. I said no. <laughs> Watch them get a goal on the empty net, because you said that. You're not supposed to say it out loud like that. You're the only one who said it out loud? No. She typed it. That's not out loud. That's out loud. She put it into the air. You know? No, you said it out loud. By I didn't it. say it out loud. I said don't say that. Nope. Smokey disagrees with you as well. I like the Rangers. They're a good team. I don't like anything from New York. I love New York. Gross. I love New York. It was really cool going. And their sports are great. So. Gross. You're gross. Okay. I'm never wrong. This should be the last commercial break, unless there is an overtime. No promises. A Red Bull sounds really good right now, though. Here, have water. It's not even cold anymore. It's cold enough. I mean, we've put almost 40 shots on them. Those 40 shots aren't 40 goals. Nope. But they're 27 shots or 7 goals. <laughs> yeah. No, Eclay, she was just there last summer? Yeah. Yeah, she had her 8th grade trip to New York and D.C., it was really cool, and I liked it a lot. I wouldn't live there, but I'm not opposed to cities. I would not even want to visit either of those anymore. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. It's pretty cool. I like it. You also like Hamilton. I love Hamilton. Don't you dare start me, because I won't stop. Ooh, that was a big hit. Yeah. Yep, Kremlin. Well, the one making me a grandpa is the uh, the one four chats up from you. <laughs> Hamilton is not gross. It's one of our founding fathers. Not the one from the play. <laughs> I like Lynn manuel Miranda. His stuff is really good. Well, we're peppering him. We need something to go in before the uh, two-minute mark.
or we could just waste time behind the goal. Yeah, super smart. And then make a bad pass to get out. We're playing so good. So good. Be willing to bet that McKinnon plays about three minutes out of this last four minutes. Colorado would love a whistle. We would love anything, actually. Anything at all. The Parise line's been out there for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're at 322 right now. 321. Goalie just froze the puck. Smoke. Yeah. It just gets worse. And the closed captioning is going right across where they were showing where the puck was. They're just going to keep showing that. Uh... Over and over. That goal, huh? Over and over. Oh. Wow. Yeah, Kremlin, if there's one major sport that I really can't stand, it's the NBA. I know the Nuggets are good, but, uh, yeah. Basketball is so uninteresting. There is no way to get me to watch the NBA. And I played basketball, too. I just hate the NBA. I'm okay with most of the college basketball. Well, Smokey said, finally. Does that mean we scored? Because we are now in I think netting. it was about Georgiev getting pulled. Oh. <laughs> I'm always right. I'm never wrong. No. I'm never wrong. Catch me being wrong, you won't. She eats pizza without cheese. Because cheese is gross. It's gross. And I think I might be a little bit lactose intolerant. I mean, that's a worse take than the pineapple on pizza. Cheese is disgusting. Pineapple is good alone. Cheese is disgusting. Two thirty five left. We're cooked. Listen, cheese is just like it doesn't even taste good. It doesn't. I've never had a cheese that I've been like, oh my gosh, cheese. It's just gross. Fullheartedly. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm never wrong. So. Two thirteen left. Still empty net. You think we can Another get two break. goals right now? Well, I'm just waiting for a smoky to... Uh, <laughs> I'm not wrong. Put something in the chat that says that we got a goal before I see it. No cheese is good cheese. I hate to break it to all of you. You're wrong. <laughs> Fullheartedly. I say that with all of the confidence what the hell in my was chest. That? Just handing the puck away. We're smart. Jill, I need you to be quiet. Don't talk to me because you have it too. Not as bad as I do, but you have it. Bruh. Nachushkin, broken stick. We're cooked. Yeah, go get a stick, Nachushkin, <laughs> or get off the ice. There's not a whole lot of point in having an extra man on if the extra man can't do anything.
Oh my goodness. Minute to go, icing. There was no daylight for that shot. Uh-uh. Woods had a good game. I like Wood. Called the timeout. He looks really mad. Who? Their coach. Oh. I think that's just how his face looks, actually. Here's the play. Get it to McCarr or McKinnon. <laughs> Shoot puck. Get goal. Pretty much. Well, since we're coming to the uh, most likely end of the game, uh, I think the next game is Tuesday night. Normally we have the uh, Party animal stream. Uh, we are considering also throwing in some... Uh, some other other stuff uh, with Mad, like uh, some Jackbox games or whatever that's called. Jackbox is so fun. Um, games at 7.30 that night. Let me know if you guys want to do a watch-along up until the, uh, the gaming stream is supposed to start. Because I'll obviously just be watching the game anyway up until then, so. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This definitely has the look of a series that could get very ugly. Like, I hope so. physically ugly by the end of this series. I really hope so. That's my favorite part. Yeah, Smokey. I mean, it'll only be like the first period because we'll be starting the gaming stream. But uh, if you want to join on Tuesday night... I will do it in one of the channels that you've got a permalink for. I'm assuming the game's pretty close to done on smoky speed. Sounds about right. Yeah, pretty much. It's great to watch, but then they start throwing hands, and it's like, oh my goodness, this is what I've been waiting for my whole life. Goal. Who was it? Middle stat. That's solid. 30 seconds to go. You think we're going to get another? We got one there. <laughs> it's only one more goal. We haven't let the empty net happen, so. Right. And it's been, what, two minutes and 30 seconds of empty net? Yeah, something like that. What's up, Real Wade? So now, it's just that, uh... Yeah, it is an own goal. It bounced right off of Dylan. Oh my gosh. Now it's just that uh, controversial three-post goal that uh, is making up the difference. True. The ref. I want to see that. I'm very curious now. Uh, we needed to win that face-off to really have much of a chance. Too much time off the clock trying to get the uh, the oh puck goodness. back from them. Ten seconds. Since Smokey hasn't said anything, it looks like we lose. We're cooked fully. Burnt to a crisp. I don't know what they were doing, Smokey. I mean, you should have been dumping that puck in. So a 13 total goals game for game one of Winnipeg in Colorado. It's crazy. 
It's a really good game. Or Hard a really playing. bad game. Um, yeah. I mean, it sucks to lose. But we had goals. We put ourselves on the board. We didn't let ourselves get completely eaten like we did the last time we faced the Jets. Well, it's rare that you put up six wins or six goals and then lose a game. So. Right, yeah. Well, both offenses seem to be uh, clicking. Of course, their offense is clicking because our goalie sucks. <laughs> Hoping for on and in next but game. But putting six on Hellebuck is a, uh, is a huge thing. Hopefully that'll continue through the next few games. So we will see you uh, Tuesday night for the, at least the first period, and then we'll, uh, we'll play some party animals or maybe do something else. But uh, thank you, everybody, for hanging out. And I don't think I'm doing anything else tonight. I don't know that Culture's having a stream. So um, tomorrow night, Comics Division's channel will be doing Monday Night Meltdown. Come check it out, and uh, catch you all later. Have a good one.